Today we're looking at the correct way of boosting Facebook posts and that's by using Facebook engagement ads. A Facebook engagement ad is designed to get more people to see and engage with your Facebook posts. Very similar to boosting. Now while the similarities between boosting and running a Facebook engagement ad are many, there is one key difference that makes Facebook engagement ads very advantageous and that is the targeting that you're able to do. So today we'll look at how to run Facebook engagement ads so you can stop boosting. Let's begin. Hey, you time it. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Question of the day, are you boosting your posts? Be honest, let me know in the comment section down below. Before we actually create the Facebook engagement ads, let's look at the differences between boosting posts and Facebook ads. A boosted post is a post to your page's timeline that you get to apply money to in order to boost it to an audience of your choosing. This is the simplest way to advertise on Facebook and initially optimizes for page likes, comments, and shares or overall brand awareness. Boosted posts differ from Facebook ads because they are not created in Ads Manager and don't have all of the same customization features. Now that's the definition of a boosted post. What about a Facebook ad? Facebook ads are created through Ads Manager and offer more advanced customization solutions. There are many advertising objectives to help you reach your specific business goals and the audiences you care about most. Now I admit the Facebook ad definition is taking Facebook advertising as a whole without taking into consideration the types of campaigns that you can use. However, the Facebook engagement ad, aka a Facebook campaign type, gives you the best of both worlds. You get the optimization for likes, comments, shares, and overall brand awareness. While at the same time, you get the advanced targeting that comes with running Facebook ads. All right, so let's look at the two ways to create a Facebook engagement campaign. The engagement campaign is right here in the consideration column. You see get more post engagements, page likes, event responses, or offer claims. We're gonna click on engagement. You're gonna have three options on what you want to optimize for. You see page engagement, and check out what happens over here on the left hand side. When you click page likes, you see some additional options show up. And then on event responses, you see some changing here as well. Today we're gonna go with pay, uh, post engagement and then I'll show you the various ways to actually get that off the ground. So we're gonna continue here. Now that we've selected the campaign objective and we're not gonna worry too much about this right now. It's more about showing you how to get how to get to your Facebook um, engagement campaigns to work. All right, so we're not gonna worry about really any of this at the moment. I just wanna show you the various ways to get the engagement campaign going. All right, so now we're here at the ad level. Notice I didn't do any targeting, I didn't do any placements. Of course, you certainly want to do that depending on what your services are or what you're selling. So be sure to go back there and, and adjust some things. We're not gonna cover the targeting aspect with our post engagement. We are more interested in the ad level and here we are. So. The identity, it is very important at this point in time to select the identity, your Facebook page. So if you have various Facebook pages that you want to start promoting and increase their notoriety or their engagement or their page likes, then you certainly want to select that right here. For our example today, I'll just get use Echo Real Estate Advisors. I'll leave that going, but really it all comes down to this, what the ad is going to be. We've spoken about the targeting, which is very important. We've spoken about the benefits of going with this type of campaign, but here, this is what effectively launches the what people are going to see from the front end. All right, so you get to select a post that you already have on your business page. That's one way. 
but you also have the option of creating a campaign and creating a post here on the, let's say the ad manager side, on the ad side, where it's never shown over on your business page. So let me show you what that looks like. Just went to the, I just went to the business page and as an example, if I wanted to run promotions to a certain post here, let's just say to this post right here. Let's just say this was my ad. I could run traffic to this ad rather than boosting it, or I could just create an ad from scratch right here. And whatever it is, let's just say, this is my ad. Whatever your ad is gonna be, you would type it in here, and then you would add an image. You have to either have an image or a video in order for the campaign to actually launch. So just like any post, all you have to do is create what you're what you're writing about. I'll just um, select one of my thumbnails. It's not going to matter for this uh, for this um, exercise, but you're going to have your ad copy here and then your image over here. Basically, if you've run any type of ads in the past, then th this isn't foreign to you. The concept of having your ad copy and your image or video, um, especially over here on this side on the ads manager side. But now what we're doing here is making sure that our ad copy is showing on the post and then right here, the image or the video. So if you leave the image out, then know that it's not going to work. It's actually not going to run. You have to attach an image to it. So just remember that. But for our example, what we're going to do is just select a post that's already existing. Let's see. Um, October 29th is when this post was made and I, let's say I wanted to run traffic to this particular post. You could come over here and select a post from your page and scroll down until you find it. So the date is going to be a, a good indicator. So there's that post that we were looking at. Or what you could also do, check out this post ID right here. Let's just say you had a lot of posts on your page and it was super active. What you're going to do is go to your publishing tools and then you're going to look for the one that you want to advertise. Um, let's just say for our example it's the same one right here. You're going to click on that. One quick favor before continuing, please be sure to hit the like button so this video's reach is magnified and others benefit. And it's the same post that we were looking at. So you're going to go up here and go to embed Go to advanced settings and what you're after is this number right here this is the post id that we're looking for and now we're going to go back over here and we're going to try to find that post so we're going to paste that enter and there it is that way you make sure that it's the post that you indeed want to run traffic to so you're going to select it and then i'm going to move myself i'll go to confirm so that's the first way of running your engagement campaign, selecting a post that you made on your business page and then running traffic to it. So this is the more amplified way of boosting. So we already discussed the benefits of doing this, but just wanted to show you how to actually get that going. Now, another way to make this work is by creating a post directly from here. So let's just change the post and by creating one. And basically, when you come back over here, let's go to the page. Let's go to the page. This looks strikingly similar to what we're looking at over here, because basically it is. <laughs> so then here, this is my ad. And then you can select your image. right here so same thing that we did over here well, now we're doing it over here now the differences are that while you can publish it schedule it or backdate it you don't have to publish it at all so you can save the unpublished post and you can run traffic to this post without being over here so essentially what you're doing is you're not posting it or publishing it 
on your business page. You get to keep the advertisement, you, you have the benefits of an engagement campaign or an engagement ad without needing to publish it over on your business page. There may be several reasons for you not to do that. Let's just say it's um, you're only trying to attract new customers in and are doing an offer specifically for new customers. Well, you don't want the existing customers to get envious or jealous that they're not getting that specific uh, offer that you're um, bringing in new customers with or there's just something that you just don't want to share with the normal community because it doesn't make sense with the post that you've been making. So you keep the post as a dark post or a post that is unpublished and you're running traffic to it like normal. You would add your button if you want to, which I suggest that you do. So learn more and then take them to your website. Save post. You're going to see this change over here. So of course you want to get your ad copy um, and your image, everything on point. However, that is all you need to do. And then at that point, you just press confirm and you have an engagement campaign. Well, this is how you run Facebook engagement ads. If you found value in this video, please be sure to subscribe so we can talk again.